Hi guys, today I thought I would do a makeup look using my absolute favourite makeup products like my holy holy grail. This is the makeup that I would recommend everybody to buy because it just works perfectly for me. Obviously some stuff might work differently on you depending on your skin type or the colour of your skin or anything like that. Can you hear these damn birds? <laughs> I'm going to shut the window in one second. But yeah, I wanted to do this video because I recently did a video that was a full face using my old favourites that I used to use and I just think it's going to be so strange to see the absolute difference between what I used to wear and what I wear now. But today is going to be all about a bronzy like gorgeous glowy goddess look there's a train going by Ooh, there's a blue blue sky Ooh, there is sun in my eye so this is the makeup that I wear whenever I go out, like if I go clubbing, if I go to an event, this is my absolute go-to makeup. And yes, let's get cracking, cracking. What I'm gonna start out with is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And this foundation I would say is a medium coverage. It looks gorgeous. It's not a dewy finish, but it's also not a matte finish. It's kind of somewhere in, in between. And I'm in the shade Warm Nude. I'm gonna zoom you in as well. I did a whole video the other day where I had foundation in my hair. <laughs> It's my The Perfect Summer Makeup video. I'm not sure if it's gonna be out yet or not, but I love that makeup. That makeup, oh my God, might take over from this makeup. It was stunning. So if you haven't watched that video, if it is up, I will leave a link to that below as well, because honestly, like you need to watch that video. That makeup is perfect. But yeah, throughout the end of it, I didn't realize I had a massive wad of foundation in my hair. It just looks so silly. I love this foundation so much. I just think it makes your skin look perfect. Can you see how gorgeous my skin looks? On to concealer. I love the Maybelline Eraser Eye. If you watch any of my videos, you know that I'm obsessed with this concealer. I don't really like to do the whole bright under the eye thing. I really like it when my concealer kind of matches my skin tone. So that's what I'm gonna pop on today. I think I just have the shade Nude. And I like to put some here around my nose just because I feel like it blends it in so much better. Let me know if you guys like the whole highlighted under the eye look because I'm just really not a fan of it. I know it became a trend because of Kim Kardashian and it looks lovely on her and it does add dimension to the face but I feel like sometimes I just end up looking like a panda, like an opposite way panda. I've actually forgotten a few makeup bits that I wanted to use so I'm just gonna run and get them now. I am back with my powder. This is the Laura Mercier powder in translucent. Everybody uses this, literally everybody. And my friend Sarah used it once and she was just raving about how good it was before a night out. And I tried it and I was like, ooh, this does seem good so I decided to bite for myself and it really is good I've got hair ah, I've got it so what I like to do with this powder is get my beauty blender it's still damp get a big wad of powder on there and just plonk it under my eye but I also like to dab it in rather than baking I also do that in the middle of my forehead get really shiny here and around my nose then for the rest of my face I just take a big old fluffy brush and set it I just lightly dust over the rest of my face so now that's all locked in I'm gonna move on to bronzer and it'll probably come to no surprise if you watch my videos that I'm gonna take my Estee Lauder bronze goddess I need a new one of these because the lids fallen off and I've had it for like two years now. But I've used it nearly every time I wear my makeup for two years and it's barely even made a dint. It's incredible, so worth the money. Just gonna bronze my face up. I reckon I could honestly do my makeup without looking at any mirror. 
I just know my face so well now that I've been wearing makeup for so long. Like I'm just using the viewfinder to do my bronzer but I know exactly where it goes and stuff. And that is the kind of bronzy look that I love. Oh, I just think it's gorgeous. I'm gonna move on to my first highlighter. I recently discovered this. It's the Dandelion Twinkle. I thought it was a blusher at first but it's actually a highlighter and it adds the most gorgeous glow to your face so I'm gonna use that. So subtle, but it makes you look super healthy. Can you see that? And now I'm gonna move on to blusher. This is Benefit's Rocketer. I love their boxed blushes and stuff. This has been my favorite blusher for so long. And I'm gonna just take that on the apples of my cheeks. As you probably saw there as well, I like to take my blusher up here. I just think it makes it look a lot more natural. And now I'm gonna go in with my actual highlighter because I've got a glow going on from the dandelion, but I do want a more bam highlighter. So I'm gonna take Becca's Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal, just on the tops of my cheekbones. That is my favourite highlighting look. That's like my favourite cheek look in general. I just think it looks lovely. I want to do my brows, but I forgot my eyebrow products, so I'm gonna come back. I'm just gonna use the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and I might not film too much of it, because I always film me doing my brows, and it's just the same thing every time. So I'm just gonna grab that, and then I will fill them in. I'm gonna do my favorite eye look ever. I think I've featured this in a couple of videos before, but every time I wear it, everybody still seems to ask me what it is. So obviously I thought I'd do it today as it's my literal favorite eye look ever. So I'm gonna start off with the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade On and On Bronze. It's a gorgeous like bronzy, taupey shade. It's not too bronze, like it's not very golden. I'd say it's more gray. Just gonna pop that all over my lid. I love this stuff so much. Can you just see how lovely that is? You can just wear this on its own with a mascara on your upper lash line and it's the most gorgeous, perfect, like natural eye look. But obviously I'm going to top it off with my Naked palette. So you can tell which shades I like in this because it's the only ones that I ever use. It's this shade here, which is called Sidecar. I then use this shade and a little bit of this one and sometimes a bit of this gold. But first I'm gonna take the shade Naked just through my crease, just as a like transition shade to blend it all out. On to more shades, I now go ahead and put Smog through the crease and dark horse as well, focusing it on the outer corner and a little bit like through here. On to what I do next, I just take sidecar in the inner portion of my eye. And then I take the shade Virgin as a little inner corner highlighter. So after I've done that, I just blend more of the darkest shade, which is Dark Horse, through the outer corner and the crease again. <laughs> 
for eyeliner, I've always loved the Soap and Glory Smolder Coal. So I'm just going to pop that in my inner eyelid and a tiny little bit on the top. I'm taking my It Cosmetics Superhero. I go through different favourites all the time. I love the Too Faced Better Than Sex, that's amazing. But this one is really good too. However, I'm not putting too much of it on because I'm going to wear false lashes. Just a little bit. I'm going to put some mascara to tie my lashes together in a second once the glue is dried, but for now I'm going to move on to lips. Jeremy! Oh my god, Jeremy's in the wardrobe! Jeremy! Come on! Oh baby, did you get stuck in the wardrobe? I thought I heard your little squeak. Come here, gorgeous. Oh, Mr. got stuck in the wardrobe. I think you were asleep in that wardrobe. I think that little face says that you were sleeping. We've got you out now. Love you. So for lip liner, I'm taking Kylie's Candy K. To lipstick I'm taking the Smashbox shade in the shade Monogamous. It's stunning. I just love this lipstick so much. I also like to put a tiny bit of lip gloss on and I'm just taking the Dior Lip Maximizer. This is one of my favourites. Right in the middle. Juicy. Time for mascara on my lashes. I'm just going to put a tiny bit on. makeup look using all of my favorite holy grail products let me know if you like it in the comments i think it's gorgeous like i said this is what i wear if i go clubbing or to an event it's just my automatic go-to makeup look give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you very very soon for my moving house vlogs i'm so excited I can't wait. And they are going to be on this channel, so definitely subscribe if you want to see moving vlogs and homeware hauls and, I don't know, just really exciting stuff like that. Empty apartment tours, full apartment tours. It's going to be so fun. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!